Los Sims, beautiful. Los Sims, beautiful spring blossoms. Yay! Oh, look, more blossoms. Poppies, beautiful, gorgeous poppies. I love flowers and I love, I planted late this year. Um, I've got pot plants on my deck outside my office. So I see them and I planted late this year and all the flowers are coming up now. Well, I planted late last year. I should have planted in spring, but they're all coming up now. So it's like spring for me. I'm loving it. Hello, hello, hello. I'm Silka. I teach people step-by-step -step how to paint. So anyone, anyone, absolutely anyone can enjoy creating beautiful art, even if you have no experience. Now, would you like these colorful blossoms hanging on your wall? Yeah, yeah, would you? Or what about these blossoms? Would you like those hanging on your wall? You can paint them this size or smaller or larger, rather. Um, I'm going to tell you how you can learn to paint my spring poppies painting. Absolutely free. Woohoo! We love free painting tutorials. And I'm going to update you about the glitch we had because I did offer this uh, a week or two ago and it just, oh, Techy stuff happened and it meant that some of you wanted the free painting. Actually, hundreds of you wanted it <gasps> and, and it, you couldn't get it. I'm so sorry. So I'm going to explain what happened there and let you know how you can get it. Uh, and I will tell you about my latest on-demand tutorial that is now online, ready to paint as well. But first, I wanted to tell you about my latest blog, which is fresh online today. It's like fresh out of the whatever you take a blog out of, <laughs> hot off the press, hot off the website. No, it's on the website. Anyway, it's a super good one, and it's there now. I've been sitting on the fence. If you've been sitting on the fence, I'm not sitting on the fence. If you've been sitting on the fence about getting started painting, um, this one is for you. This one is for you because it's a basic shopping list of what you need, the exact things of what you need to actually get started. So, yay, I've got lots to share with you today, and it's all going to help you have painting fun, which is my goal always. Say hi if you're on. See, Let me know who's here. Feel free to ask questions if you have any as well. Um, but basically, I want to help as many of you as possible enjoy the fun and the positive benefits of painting, because there's while you're painting, loads of good stuff happens in your body and your mind and your heart. It's all good. Hi, Leah. Hey, good to see you. Um, so I want to I want to help share the positive benefits and the fun of painting with as many of you of as possible. So if you haven't already noticed, if you've not been following my page that long, every week I try to share new tips and techniques with you. I want to help you learn and improve your creative skills so you can get the most out of your painting time and keep learning new things all the time. So that's what I call my hearty tips with Silka, and I share them here. Uh, I always share them here first and then and my subscribers get them as well and usually before I even do them in advance or I didn't this week um, and then they all go on my blog so they're always there for anyone to enjoy. Now one of the most common things, uh, one of the most common reasons people tell me why they haven't started to paint or tried to paint even though they want to, aside from oh I could never paint that you know, that belief that they could never do it. That is the myth, by the way. Uh, anyone can paint with the right guidance, I promise you. But the other one is that I don't know where to start. People want to get painting, but they have no idea where to start. Um, if you've been wanting to get started, but you're confused about what supplies to get or maybe about all the different options, because there are so, so many, so many different brushes and paints and canvases, so many different options. And then there's the different brands and the different price ranges and the different qualities. It can be overwhelming, but I've got you covered because this week's Hardy Tips with Silka is for you. Um, and i got to admit, even I get overwhelmed shopping for art supplies sometimes because there really are so many choices. Um, but luckily for you, I have done all the research and all the shopping Oh, that's hard for a woman, isn't it? <laughs> Just let that bus go by. I've done all the research and all the shopping and all the testing. Um, I've tested, honestly, hundreds and hundreds of products. I bought hundreds of brushes. I bought liters of paint and tubes and bottles and all sorts of types. And I bought all sorts of canvases and boards and things to paint on. And I have tried them all. All right. 
some of them went straight in the bit because they is not good. <laughs> uh, even though they're cheap, sometimes they're not good. But some of them were fabulous. And some of them were like, ooh, that's a bit pricey, but good. And then I found all the best stuff in the middle. I tried all the ranges, all the price ranges and brands, and I found all the best stuff in the middle so you can get good quality stuff without busting the bank. I've done all the hard work for you, tested everything, bought everything, tried everything, and I found the best ones to help you get started. And then what I did with that, I have now created a super handy list of all the basic art supplies, all the things you need to get started with painting. All right, so I've basically created your shopping list for you if you want to get started. I've narrowed it all down to the best products at good prices and only the stuff you need. All right, just the basics. So you don't have to be overwhelmed and feel like you have to go out and buy all of it like one of everything please you don't need to do that just the basics i've kept it nice and simple nice and easy a few brushes a few paints and whatever you want to paint on all right so it's going to be no stress shopping for you you just take your list and go all right nice and easy um now i have shared this one kind of before on a video um but i've updated it now to include a written list of what you need um, to make it even easier for you. You just print it off and take it with you. <laughs> um, just I just want to make it as easy as possible for you to get you shopping and get painting, all right? Um, because if not knowing what you need is the only thing holding you back from getting started painting and tons and tons of art, joy, and creative happiness, you owe it yourself. You owe it to yourself to check this one out, all right? So it's on my blog heartforart.co.nz when you get there go up to the menu and click on blog and if you're watching now it's the latest one there uh, well I say now you could be watching this in a year's time if you're watching like straight after this live in the next week or so um, it's, it's a basic supply list of what you need to get started painting and it's all there for you you can read it I've got it all nicely listed out for you, bullet points and everything, nice and easy. Or you can watch the video. There's a video there as well uh, where I go a little bit more in depth on what, what I get. There's some suggestions for various budget ranges. So whatever budget you're on, you can make it fit. Just pick the ones that suit your budget. Nice and easy. And there's loads. I've packed it with loads of extra tips of what to look out for as well. So you can walk into the shop confidently knowing I need that, that, and that. Thank you very much. Walk out all ready to paint. Um, I've even given you some uh, tips on where to shop. So all those extra tips and then where to shop to get good prices as well. You do not have to shop at the most expensive art shop in town. You can get stuff at a lot of basic places that you would be surprised that you can get our stuff from and it'll be a whole lot more affordable so you can get more and paint more. Awesome. <laughs> um, um, but like I said, it's more in-depth on the video. Um, I mean, it still covers all the basic points, but I go a little bit more in, and I'll show you exactly what brushes I actually use myself. Um, so, and you'll be surprised how few you actually need. You don't need a million brushes. You do not. I mean, I have a million brushes because I teach people how to paint and people come and paint with me, so I need brushes for them. But for you, you don't actually need that many brushes to get started. You can start with two or three brushes, and that's all. Yes. So you don't have to break a bank. Um, so in the video, I show you exactly which ones I use, the, the staple basics of which ones I have. Um, so go and check that out. Or you can read it if you just want to read the, the checklist. Go and check that out. And I hope, I hope, I hope it's my dearest wish that if you have been wanting to learn to paint um, and you've been just stalling on getting started, that this blog is exactly what you need to get started. I hope it encourages you to go, yes, now I'm not confused. Now I'm ready to go. Uh, that would make my heart smile so much because I know how much joy art uh, gives me and I just want to share it with you. So I hope that, that this list will make it a lot easier for you to just go shopping, go get your stuff and get painting. So if you want to read that one, say hi, by the way, if you've come on, let me know who's here, where you're watching from. Um, if you want to read that list or watch the video, it is on my blog. Pop down to heartforart.co.nz. Up in the menu, you will see the blog link and all the blog stuff is there. Now, the one to look for is called Basic Art Supplies. 
all the things you need to get started painting all right so it's a no-brainer if you've been sitting on that fence and you're not sure what you need to get started go get my list you're sorted you're sweet you will see how easy it can be when you know exactly what to shop for and you before you know it you'll be enjoying the buzz of creativity and painting you'll be painting up a storm in no time at all oh, i'm so excited for you all right so go and have a read or have a watch uh, you, they're both on the same page you can read it and watch it or read it or watch it your choice and once you've done your shopping once you've got your list you've gone out shopping you got all your art goodies exciting if you want something gorgeous to paint or if you've already got your supplies uh and you've just been hanging out for something to paint um you know but you don't know you, you don't know what to paint you haven't got any ideas how about this how about this i'm so excited to let you know that the spring blossoms is now available as an on-demand painting tutorial yes that means you can paint this one whenever you want you don't have to wait for me to schedule an event um you can just go grab it anytime you like um, now the story behind this one, I was mowing my lawns in the garden and because I'm just so busy painting all the time, I love painting, sometimes I let it get a bit long and I live on a hill and my grass was knee deep and I've got grass all around both sides of the house. I was halfway down one side and I was a bit tired and it was actually spring when I painted this one and all my apple trees were in bloom and while I was just stopped stopping to have a bit of a breather I was just admiring the absolute beauty of the blossoms on my apple tree and I was like wow that's so cool I took a few photos and then I instantly thought that's going to need to be a painting and sure enough I'm so excited about this one it's just got such lovely little details and it's so easy to paint all my paintings are so easy to paint um, and we have had some stunning stunning results here in the studio um and online even of people who have never painted before and walked away with beautiful beautiful smiles in their hearts and gorgeous gorgeous um blossom paintings and that's all because i got tired mowing my lawn and stopped to admire my my um apple trees in bloom and pears actually there were pears too to be fair um so what you get when you get this when you go and grab yourself this on-demand painting tutorial you will get a full supply list so you'll know exactly what brushes I used to create this one. Um, from memory, it's only two or three brushes. Um, and you will get all the paint colors that I used to create this one as well. And um, you will get, and it's the same brushes that I suggest in the, it's the same brushes I suggest in the blog as well, actually. I've got like a core set of brushes and I use them to paint all of my paintings. So if you get the core set of brushes, you can paint any of my paintings because I use the same ones all the time. Um, so yes, you get a supply list um, of all the brushes I use, all the colors I've used. And you'll get a step-by-step -step video tutorial with me showing you exactly how to paint this. And it'll go all whew, straight to your inbox as soon as you buy it, all right? So straight away, you'll get it. So you can paint right away. You can paint right now. You can paint tonight if you want. If you go over to the website, grab yourself Spring Blossoms painting tutorial. It'll go straight to your inbox, and you can paint this tonight if you want. Yay! All my paintings are easy to do, and so is this one. They're all doable by anyone because I break it all down. Instead of saying paint a blossom, I will tell you to paint a white base. You just paint a white round shape. And then you dip your brush in another color and just pull some colors through and that's one petal easy all of it i break everything down super simple because i want anyone to be able to enjoy the fun of painting anyone can do it honestly with me showing you step by step how and breaking it down making it nice and simple anyone anyone can paint and anyone should paint i think i want to teach the world to paint because Goodness knows the world needs more art right now, more art, joy, and color and happiness. Um, maybe you've been following my page for a while and you've seen some of the gorgeous blossom paintings everyone's been doing. We've done it online and we've done it in the studio. And maybe you've seen some of the photo albums I've been loading. Um, you know, you've seen what everyone else is painting. A lot of them were brand new painters, never painted before. And they did it, so if they can, so can you. 
Yay. Well, you can now because it's online. You can do it anytime you want. And because it's a virtual, because it's a recorded, um, a recorded video tutorial, you can paint a little bit, pause it, have a break, paint, take a sip of wine, paint. So you can do it all at your own pace. You can paint and pause and paint and sip and paint all at your own pace. So there's no hurry. You can take your time and create your beautiful blossoms. And while you're doing all that, you'll have a nice relaxing <sighs> painting session. The world will melt away. All your stresses will fly away. And you'll learn how to paint. And you'll pick up some painting techniques. I always teach techniques and new tips and stuff in every painting I teach. And you will end up with your very own gorgeous blossoms painting to hang on the wall. It's going to brighten up your wall. It's going to look fabulous. And you'll get that lingering buzz every time you look at it of going, oh, I painted that. Woo! And it'll feel great. Yay. So go grab this super fun, happy tutorial. Honestly, this is blossoms. How can you not be happy looking at it or painting it? Um, so on my heartforup.co.nz um, you can scroll down I've put it on the homepage favorites for you so you can find it easier so just go to the website heartforup.co.nz scroll down to you see it or you can find it in the on-demand paintings in the menu um, there's other on-demand paintings there as well if you want to paint them uh, actually looking at the ones behind me yes I think all of those are there um, there's loads of paintings all around the room and and, and I'm trying to load more over the next few weeks. So there's loads there to choose from. All of these are there. Um, <laughs> so go and pick your favourites. Go and check them out. So www.heartforart.co.nz, on demand in the menu, or if you just want the spring blossoms, um, scroll down a bit and you will see that on my favourites there um, and all the others. So I do, I, or type blossoms, type blossoms in the comments and I will send you the link for the blossoms. Um, but I really want to, if, you, if you're sitting on that fence and you're wanting to get painting, hi Brenda, how's the, how's the South Island today? Yay. It's beautiful and sunny up here. It's been lovely for a change. Um, but yes, if you haven't painted before, I really want to encourage you. Um, you know, if you've always wanted to learn to paint, step-by-step -step tutorials, step-by-step -step tutorials are the easiest, most fun way to learn. All right. Leah and Brenda, who are watching right now, can attest to that, I'm sure. Um, be great if you guys could share what you've what you've thought about your learning to paint step by step with me. Let others know how easy it is, because it is, eh? It really is. Honestly, about 95% of the people who have painted with me have never held a brush before. Obviously, Paint Club, they now do, but for the first time, um, people who come and join me in the studio, they've never painted before. And they all end up with beautiful paintings. So if they can, so can you. If you want to see what they've been painting, go check out the Paint Party photo albums on my Facebook page and you'll see that it's all true. They all create beautiful paintings and everyone has such a fab time. Um, so if you want to have a bit of that fab time and beautiful paintingness, pop over to my website, heartforart.co.nz. Um, grab your favourite on-demand tutorial from the menu. Uh, and if you want me to send you the information for the spring blossoms, type blossoms in the comments below, and I will get back to you as soon as I'm done. Now, again, this is just for people who have never painted before. If you're still not convinced that you could paint something like this, I understand, you know, if you've never painted before, it can feel a little bit intimidating, especially if you don't know what the process is. I mean, I know the process. I created the process and I know it works. But for someone who's never tried it before, I can understand that maybe you're thinking, really? I've still got you covered. Um, we've got a lovely little easy one. This is so simple and so easy. And it's just a nice little small non-intimidating one to have a go at, all right? Um, you may have seen my free online painting tutorial for spring poppies recently. Um, I did load it ooh, a couple of weeks ago and it was working fine. People were signing up, hundreds of people got it. Then a glitch kind of got in somewhere <laughs> 
and the page to get the the, the supply list and the tutorial just went ah, it just was having a bad day really and then it had a bad week so um it stopped working essentially it was still working on desktop but not on mobile so if you were trying to sign up to get this that's a supply list and the video tutorial for this spring poppies i do apologize i'm so sorry it was all working and then something went wrong uh and it took me a while to figure it out it, it, to be honest i noticed it on sunday and sunday is my day off i do observe the whole need to rest on a sunday where i can that that is important rest is important um as much as painting is important um but yeah I, i've been looking at it all week and i've only just managed to get some help and get it fixed so i do apologize hundreds of you went to go and get this and it was only working on desktop and not mobile so it turned out to be a bigger glitch than i thought and it took a bit longer to fix but it's all good now it is all good now poppies are back on you can enjoy spring poppy painting again um, it's a nice short step-by-step -step video i show you i show you just how easy it is to paint poppies all right and you'll be inspired and have fun and you'll see what's possible and you'll end up with your own beautiful i'll show you closer up or your own beautiful spring poppies and honestly they look difficult but they're not i'll show you step by step exactly how to paint it anyone can do it and you'll end up with your own beautiful poppy flowery masterpiece i'll show you what you know i'll show you in these colors the colors i've used but you can do any color poppy you want yay same with the spring blossoms you can do any flowers you want i show you how to do it with these colors but you can do any colors you want um and if you're new to painting or you're thinking about having a go this one is definitely for you all right it's a great one to get started on and you'll see how easy it is and how you know how easy it is to get great results really quickly and you can have some fun choosing your own colors with this one like i said um if you want to paint this one, the link is in the comments. Did I put it in the comments? I'm pretty sure I put it in the comments. Someone let me know if I put the link in the comments. Did I put the link in the comments for free poppies? I think I did. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to remember. I can't remember. I'm pretty sure I did. Um, someone let me know if the link is in the comments. Um, but I can share it with you when I'm done here as well. Just type poppies, poppies in the comments underneath and I can share the link with you if I haven't. Um, and also, if you have tried to sign up to this already, um, you can go back to the page now, but it may um, you may need to refresh your browser, okay? Because what happens is your browser will remember what it saw last time. It'll just load the same thing again, so it may still load it with the glitch. So if you just refresh your browser, it'll clear the glitch, and you'll be able to get um do see the form where you can just type in your name and it will get sent to you you'll get the supply list and the step-by-step -step tutorial sent straight to you and it's all free for you to enjoy and enjoy painting your free spring poppies online yay um but and if you've signed up and you've not received your email um Please do check your spam or your junk folder. Sometimes I don't think painting is spam ever, but sometimes it does end up in there. So if you haven't received your email when you've signed up, do go check your spam or your junk folder. Um, and if it's still not there, then flick me a DM and I will send it to you. All right. Um, so, huh, so that was lots of painting goodness today. Um, let me sum up just to get my own head clear on what I taught you today, I told you about today. Um, so I told you about my latest blog, Fresh Online Today. Um, and that is, hold on, I'm just getting myself sorted here. That is the, the blog about getting all your um, art supplies, basic, supply list for getting started all right not overspending just getting the basics of what you need all right um 
if you've if you've wanted to get started painting but you're confused about what supplies to get or it's just all a bit overwhelming or just all the different options because there's so many and if you're not sure what brands to get or what price range to shop in um, my latest blog is for you okay um, you know if if not knowing what you need to get started painting is the only thing holding you back um, and missing all of the art joy and all of the creative time and all the relaxing time that you can have then you owe it to yourself to check this one out all right just go check it out just go have a look it won't hurt you <laughs> um, so that's on my blog in the menu halfart.co.nz in the menu click on blog uh, and you will see the blog basic art supplies all the things you need to get started with painting super simple list shopping list for you go do it and once you've done your shopping if you want it if you want something gorgeous to paint uh, or if you've already got your supplies and you've been painting for a while um, and you've just been hanging out to paint but you don't know what to paint this is my spring blossoms painting tutorial is now online as an available or as an on-demand painting tutorial meaning that you can grab it and paint it anytime you like you can grab it and paint it right now you have a super relaxing painting session you will learn to paint this beautiful poppies painting um, and have a gorgeous flower painting to hang on the wall at the end as well um, so go grab this super fun happy painting tutorial um, over there so this time it's heartfart.co.nz instead of going to the blogs you go to the on-demand paintings in the menu and you will see this one and all the others there's loads of others to choose from there as well so you see them all there so that's on-demand tutorials in the menu of my website or if you just if that's all too hard just type blossoms type blossoms below and i will get it to you i will get it to you um or even just on demand tutorials and i can send you the link for all of them um, and if that still hasn't convinced you and you want something simpler and smaller to paint just to try have, have a go just to have a first try um my free online painting tutorials is spring poppies um i just loaded it again <laughs> it's fixed there's no glitch um it's a really good one just to get started on um you'll see how easy it is to get you know to get a quick simple beautiful painting really really quickly so if you want to paint this one the link is in the comments um or type pop poppies and i will share it with you when i'm done here all right and don't forget if you've tried to get this one already and you've been to the page and the form was not working if the if the sign up thing wasn't working um do go back again you may have to refresh your browser though to clear the glitch all right um and then you'll be able to sign up for this so do go enjoy it enjoy enjoy painting poppies i just want to share painting joy with everybody yay poppies i can't even grow poppies here though i mean i can grow them but windy wellington they last a day before they blow away <laughs> yeah all right so all my paintings just want to remind you all my paintings i design them specifically to be doable by anyone even if you've never held a paintbrush before all right i design them because i want everybody to experience the fun of painting so i design them all to be doable by anyone all right even if you're brand new to painting i break everything down into super easy simple steps to follow so as long as you can hold a brush follow instructions you will get a beautiful painting at the end of it and have a ton of fun because painting is fun um, so if you want to get a small taste of how I teach and you want to see how easy it is do grab my free poppies painting tutorial all right um, and if you want to have some fun getting creative learning a slightly bigger painting easiest most fun way to 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 learn is to grab one of my on-demand painting tutorials all right you will just have so much fun and you love it oh brenda's just written a book okay hi brenda thanks for that what does she say she says i've always been creative but never really done anything arty like painting since i've been with silka i've had a lot of fun trying to paint with acrylic yay i'm glad you've had fun but still need to do the blossoms which is half done it's all right that's the beauty of the video you can go back 
anytime you like. You can paint three blossoms now, three blossoms next week, three blossoms the week after, or do it all in one go. I think that one's about a three-hour tutorial. You can have a blossoms painting in just three hours. Uh, still reading from Brenda. The step-by-step -step learning is great, and learning how to layer and create your own colours is really fun too. So far I have done four paintings and created one on my own. And yes, see, that's the thing. You start painting, you get inspired like Brenda did to create on your own. Yay, she's going on the creative journey. Oh, thanks, Brenda. Thanks so much for sharing that. That, that makes my heart happy, knowing that you're having so much fun and loving it. And to see you progressing on that journey as well. And that's usually what happens when people join Paint Club. Um, you can't sign up for Paint Club at the moment because that, that sign up page has got the same glitch as the poppies. I'm hoping to get that sorted soon. Um, but yeah, when you join Paint Club, every painting you do, you learn a little bit more, get a little bit more confidence and you just build your creative skills and the joy and just enjoy painting even more. Thank you, Brenda, for, enjoy, uh, for sharing that. I really appreciate that. Um, and I hope it encourages other people to... to have a go at painting as well. It is honestly, it's my mission to share painting joy with the world, starting with New Zealand, moving into Australia. I've had some people in other countries already as well. Um, everybody, everybody should experience the fun of painting. So if you want some painting fun, get into it. All the painting goodness is on my website, heartforart.co.nz, blog in the menu, drop down menu. If you want to learn new tips, uh, loads of actually I think the free puppies is there as well um, but if you want to learn any new tips or techniques or just learn lots of stuff about art um, there's loads of stuff on my blog including that basic shopping list for the basics of art supplies that didn't come out right the basic things you need to get started shopping for painting is there as well all right so head over to my website go to the blog learn loads of stuff um, and of course, go grab all your basic supplies shopping list um, and then get painting with any of my on-demand painting tutorials. Again, here, heartforart.co.nz and then on-demand tutorials in the menu um, or grab my free poppies, grab my free poppies. All right, just type poppies in the comments and I will send it to you um, and you will end up with your very own painting to be proud of. You'll have a ton of fun, but just get painting. Get painting. If you've been thinking about it for a while, I encourage you to just rah, go out and do it. Yes, I'm trying to make it as easy as possible with you. Go grab that shopping list. Go grab an on-demand painting tutorial. You will not regret it, I promise you. You will have a ton of fun and end up with beautiful art to hang on your wall. All right, so that's me. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, if there's any questions, do pop them in the comments. I'm happy to answer any comments or DM me. Either or is all good. I just want to help you get painting. And if you're already painting, I want to help you get painting more because I don't think you could ever paint enough. There would never be enough. So thanks for joining me. And as always, I look forward to sharing more art, joy and healing with you. And I hope to see you at the end of a paintbrush soon. Thanks. Bye.